Greetings fellow stock enthusiasts and welcome to the StockInvest.us weekly report. As we embark on another trading week, allow us to bring you the latest in stock market news and analysis. In this report, we will delve into the most significant events for the markets this week, provide a thorough examination of last week's performance, and analyze the top three most trending stocks of the past week. But before we proceed, it is imperative to acknowledge that the information provided in this video is for informational and educational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. We strongly recommend that all viewers conduct their own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment with your thoughts on this week's report. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. We highly value your support and look forward to bringing you another outstanding report next week. Let's begin. All right, folks, let's dive into the financial markets. As you all know, the dollar has been taking a hit lately, and it's all thanks to the Fed. A bunch of Fed officials have been making their case for a rate cut, and it's causing some uncertainty in the market. But it's not just the dollar that's feeling the heat. American equities are also taking a hit. The S&P 500 is up just 3.5% this year, while European stocks are up 7%. One reason for this is that Europe may avoid a recession this year, but the U.S. is expected to fall into one in the second half of 2023. And let's not forget about the ongoing debt ceiling drama in Congress. On the flip side, the euro is on the rise and reached its highest point since April 2022. This is thanks to hawkish comments from European Central Bank policymakers like Klaus Knott, who is pushing for half-point interest rate increases at the next two meetings. The yen also saw a 0.5% gain on Monday. Oil is also on a downward trend, as investors weigh the outlook for demand following China's reopening and potential risks to Russian output in 2023. And gold is also on a downward trend. All in all, it's an interesting time in the markets and we'll have to see how things play out in the coming weeks. Stay tuned for more updates. The Stocks Europe 600 Index is showing a small increase of 0.2% at the moment. As for the US markets, the futures for S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and Dow Jones Industrial Average are all relatively unchanged. Moving on to the Asia Pacific and emerging markets, the MSCI Asia Pacific Index is up 0.5% and the MSCI Emerging Markets Index has risen 0.2%. On Tuesday, we'll be keeping an eye on the January business activity surveys from S&P Global. According to the December surveys, demand for goods and services has softened globally and price pressures have also eased. On Wednesday, we have the Bank of Canada announcing its latest monetary policy decision. The central bank had previously delivered a 0.5% increase for its main interest rate, but they have signaled that they are at or near the end of their tightening campaign due to the economy showing signs of slowing growth and easing inflation. Thursday is going to be a big day for economic data releases. The U.S. Commerce Department will be releasing the fourth quarter GDP, which is a broad measure of the goods and services produced in an economy. The U.S. economy had grown at a 3.2% annual rate in the third quarter after contracting in the first half of the year. The Commerce Department will also be releasing December figures on orders of long-lasting goods. We saw overall new orders for durable goods fall sharply in November from the prior month. The U.S. Labor Department will be reporting the number of worker filings for unemployment benefits in the weekend of January 21st. Initial jobless claims, a proxy for layoffs, had declined in the weekend of January 14th to the lowest level since September, suggesting the labor market remained tight. On Friday, the Commerce Department will be releasing figures on U.S. household spending and income in December. Consumer spending had risen 0.1% in November from the prior month, a pullback from the robust 0.9% gain in October. The department will also be releasing its Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, a gauge of inflation closely watched by the Fed. The PCA price index had risen 5.5% in November from a year earlier. The University of Michigan will be publishing its final reading of consumer sentiment for January. A reading earlier this month had shown that sentiment reached its highest level in nine months due to easing concerns over the possibility of a recession and inflation. The National Association of Realtors will be reporting December pending sales of U.S. homes based on contract signings. Pending home sales had fallen in November for the sixth consecutive month as the housing market buckled under high mortgage rates and weakened demand. Earnings for the week include 
Abbott Laboratories, American Airlines, American Express, AT&T, Blackstone, Boeing, Colgate, Palmolive, Freeport, McMoran, General Electric, Intel, International Business Machines, Johnson & Johnson, LVMH, Moet, Hennessy Louis, Vuitton, MasterCard, Nokia, Southwest Airlines, Texas Instruments, Verizon Communications, Visa. Keep an eye out for these companies' earnings reports and see how it might affect their stock performance. Attention all stock enthusiasts. The in-depth analysis for these stocks can be found on stockinvest.us by simply entering the ticker name in the search bar. Now, let us shift gears from upcoming events and delve into the five hottest stocks that are currently on everyone's minds and frequently searched for on stockinvest.us. We've got the latest stock market updates for you. Starting with Tesla, the stock price saw a significant gain of 4.91%, rising from $127.17 to $133.42. The stock fluctuated throughout the day with a range of 4.84% between $127.34% between 100. Over the past 10 days, the price has risen in six of them and has increased by 20.92% in the last two weeks. Moving on to Amazon, the stock price increased 3.81%, going from $93.68 to $97.25. The stock fluctuated 4.45 cent throughout the day, with a low of $93.20 and a high of $97.35 and a high of $97.35 over the past 10 days. The price has finally Apple stock price increased 1.92%, going from $135. 27 cents to 137 dollars 87 cents this marks the third consecutive day of gains the stock fluctuated 2.83 percent throughout the day with a low of 134 dollars teeny 2.84 dollars any two cents and a high of 100 tie over the past two weeks the price has risen 10.28 percent and it has increased in eight of the last 10 days the trading volume was higher than the previous day with 80 million shares exchanged for a total of 11 dollars billion in related news, Apple wants India to account for up to 25% of its production from about 5 to 7% now as the company continues to move its manufacturing away from China. Please share the stock tickers you are currently monitoring in the comments section. Recently, Alphabet Inc., the parent company of Google, announced that it will be cutting 12,000 jobs as it faces a different economic reality. The job cuts will affect 6% of the company's workforce and follow similar layoffs at other tech giants such as Amazon, Microsoft, and Meta Platforms, who are downsizing after a pandemic-led hiring spree, left them with an overstaffed workforce in a weak economy. The company has reportedly decided to double down on its focus on artificial intelligence and is axing staff who support experimental projects. Shares in Alphabet, which boosted its workforce by nearly a third through 2020 and 2021, rose 4% recently. They had fallen 30% in the past 12 months, echoing a 24% slump in the broader tech industry. Sundar Pichai, Alphabet's CEO, stated that he took full responsibility for the decisions that led to the layoffs. He further added that this is a moment to sharpen our focus, re-engineer our cost base, and direct our talent and capital to our highest priority as Alphabet looks to imbue its products with more AI. The company, long a leader in AI, is facing competition from Microsoft, which is reportedly looking to boost its stake in a promising chatbot that answers queries with human-like responses. Advertising dollars, Alphabet's mainstay revenue source, is also feeling the squeeze from businesses chopping budgets as consumers pull back spending. It is important to note that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. The information provided should not be the sole basis for your investment decisions and any use of the information provided is at your own risk. Thank you for tuning in to stockinvest.us. We trust that this video has been a valuable resource in your quest for informed investment decisions. Remember to always consider a stock's fundamentals, financial health, industry trends, and any relevant information or events that may have an impact on the stock price. If you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to reach out to us through the comments section or our social media channels. We will be back next week with more analysis and insights, so be sure to stay tuned.